Hi guys, welcome back to Blueprint Gaming. I am Jay, and we're tuning here with Let's Build a Zoo Dinosaur Island DLC, and we got a new dinosaur. Uh, this kind of popped up right after I finished editing the last episode. Uh, maybe it's a pterodactyl. I don't know yet. Haven't seen the name. Uh, but if it is a pterodactyl, it's a pterodactyl. Can't fly in this one. Um, and I don't think we have aviaries or anything like that. So, yay. Um, uh, game is paused. Let me go check out. We'll see exactly what we unlocked. Um. 13%. No, it's not a pterodactyl. It's um another dinosaur I never heard of before, so I'm not even gonna try to pronounce it because I'm terrible at that game. <laughs> uh 20%. So it looks like it's like we I don't know if we'll get this dinosaur here in this episode or not, uh, but definitely our next one in is gonna be the one down there. Alright, so if memory serves me correct, these turtles are very, very small. Animals. Oh, Nike. 56 um yeah territory they are very 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 small animals and they like jungle do we have a jungle we don't have a jungle yet did i unlock do i have a jungle cages uh in cages we do have jungle we just haven't used it and we haven't used volcano volcanic yet either all right so these guys are very small i think what i'm going to do is i'll build them right here uh make them the full length of what i can do right here I think I'll just go down by eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, yeah, we'll do that. All right, the subway's up this way. So let's go. Actually, I'm going to go. I know right here for right now. If I have a walkway here, because eventually I'll probably have a walkway going out this way and one out this way. And this will just be another. We'll probably put another rust area and stuff in here. Um, I would like to block. People from doing the dinosaurs on this side, uh, but the only way we really do is put plants and trees along here, which you know what? In all honesty, we could do. <laughs> we could definitely do. Uh, let's put a bench. Just, 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 you know, just, just, just knock that out. All right. Let's amenities. Uh, cycling. So I just do. Plants. Put a planter. And let's get some trees. There we go. And get the shelter here. Uh, I could probably let the game play. It's not gonna hurt anything. Um, facilities. I'm looking for. Uh, where's my rest areas at? Oh, here they are. Shelters. Tiki shelter. All right, we'll put you right in front there. Cool. And yeah, I think that's gonna be cool. We'll do it that way. I was let's we'll let them roam this area uh, for now. We can fill it in later when need to. But I just wanted to block off you building from this side. Uh, this side will be the natural viewing side, so let's just go ahead and put down the walk path now. So, all right. And let's go ahead and move you guys so we can get the next animal in. And already I remember they need to drink. Oh, shoot. All right. I always forget to put these water pumps down. All right, we'll do uh, right there. We'll eventually put something that will block that. Uh, but for now, it's fine. Uh, wrong thing. Add objects. Water. Thank you. Enrichments. Give me a blue ball and a sprinkler. All right, so they're taken care of. World map. Uh, I think it's South America here. Yep. Oh. 
No, it always looks like this. This is me it's like the volcanic area, but I think they always look like that. Uh, plenty of room for them. All right, they'll be in the next day. Uh, let's go back to here real quick. All right, so we have... Shop. I'm gonna put a coke machine here. Um, which light system? Which lights were I using? I was using the heat, uh, heat lamp one. All right. All right let's put you beside here. Ah. Uh. Actually, you know what? Let's um, let's move you. Can I move you? Yes, I can. Let's have you go out that way, and then I want to put a tree behind that. Alrighty, so that's that. Uh, prices. Oh, can I not set prices on, an, on a kiosk? Manage shop. I can't manage an info kiosk. All right, so I guess we don't sell anything there. Um, I guess it does what exactly what it says it does. It just gives info. All right, so tons of money. That's not the problem. Not saying there is a problem. Yeah, guys, we were just like, I mean, this. Like I said this DLC, it's it, compared to the base game, is very easy to manage. Not a whole lot of difficulty here. You seem to be rolling in money pretty easily, um, which is definitely a big difference from the base game. Transportation, how we doing? We're 100% across the board. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> Everything's going so smooth. Uh, not much of a problem. I feel like maybe I should expand more, but I'm not going to. Let's go to world map. Not world map. Let's go heat map. Animal keepers. I know I don't have anybody assigned to that one over there. Grace. I'll pin you. I don't know why I'm getting a woolly mammoth. But I'll pin you. Um, Grace, you go there. Thank you. Uh, the question is, where do I want to expand from here? Um, so, I mean, this is going to get filled in pretty quickly. Probably the next one is going to go right here. Um, I may end up... Well, we'll see what the next animal is. Maybe we'll expand jungle this way, grassland up this way, marsh up here. I don't think I'm going to get... To, I don't, I'm not expecting to get any more uh, animals that require glass enclosures. Uh, if we do, maybe we'll look to move something. We'll, we'll just go, we'll do it that way, right? We'll try to keep everything in its environment kind of grouped together. We still haven't got any, uh, volcanic type animals. If we look at here, um, oh yeah, enclosures right here. So, right. We don't, there, and there's also two others we don't have. Um, you know what? Let's see. Where can we get those? Let's, let's see if we can get the enclosures. I think that's going to be the most exciting thing to see enclosures. Where are you at? So you're purple. So you're these two over here. Interesting. All right. How do we get you unlocked? Um, so we can't, we can't even use that one. So we have to go this way. Can I grab you now? No. Oh, so I have to grab these signs. All right. Let's grab these signs. And we can get the incinerator. And then we have to go out here to energy, which is four. All right. Easy enough. Easy enough. Easy enough. So we have an incinerator. Um, uh, I'm going to go ahead and read this one, but I think this is kind of similar to the base game. I don't think it's much different. So actually, since it's the same as the base game, I'm not going to, I'm not going to read it at all. Just a, a crematorium for animals. Um, so they don't rot away in their cages when they die. So what happens when you leave an animal die? 
uh, in your zoo, uh, it just sits there and it rots and it turns guests off. So having an incinerator takes care of that problem. Um, I haven't really needed an incinerator at all, uh, but we're gonna have to put it down and just turn it on. Um, and we can, we can afford the wasteful employee, put it that way. So turn this on, like I said, you get a kind of a wasteful employee. Um, it's fine. Um, you can manage this easily. So, um, all right. I don't see, I thought there was a way to set this on auto, but I think it was going to be, I think maybe, maybe they just automatically, all right. I think it automatically will go out and grow or go out and grab any animal that dies. I don't think I have to, I know you can call them. Um, but if they do it automatically, they do it automatically. And I'm okay with that. Um, so this is another one where it'd be nice if I could put, um, I mean, I should really grab it. So I think <laughs> I'm going to back up a little bit. I think grabbing the staff entrance and things like this would be pretty cool where you could literally block out an area and have a, a staff entrance, um, where only staff can get to these kind of buildings. Um, definitely something I could definitely do try to put together um have they ever done i think they've done i don't know if they've ever done fencing because like fencing is would be great oh those are pretty pretty cool maps danger oh, i should put some more of this stuff down well if i have room i'll put some more of this stuff down um i tend to not leave myself too much extra room uh, i tend to like really Think, oh, looks like enough space, and then then you, then you start putting stuff in there, and you realize like, oh, that could have been bigger. Like this could have area could definitely be bigger. I do have some big space here. We have a big space here, so we ought to do a little bit more here uh, soon. Actually, you know, it's probably a good place for a sign right there. Signs. Where are you? Decorations? No. Ah, eh, decorations are pretty cool. Uh, signs. Let's see. Let's do a stone map. Uh, now I want I want one where I can. Uh, kind of like I'm if I could still. I say I shouldn't have blocked anything. This should still be. A... Oh, I did block it. Sorry, stop doing that. That's a different game. Move. There we go. Now nothing's blocked. All right. So I got some use out of something new. All right. Uh, cookie vendor, new record. Good for you. All right, I think, for, I think for argument's sakes, I'm, I'm just going to extend that up. But let's have you go that way. And you have to go this way, which is not even. Kind of sucks. Okay, thanks for all the extra cash. No more. F oh, I can order food. Can't you order your own food? <laughs> Oh, 6,000. All right, let me see. I need to fix these guys up. All right, so let's go ahead and do. down to 40 there we go make sure they're well fed I wonder why some of them now they're all good all right um let's go ahead and get you guys uh, food fixed up Go 
50. All right, you guys are good. Back up. Order more. And you guys are not expensive at all. All right. Did my other animal come in yet? Yes, they did come in. Um. All right, animals. You guys prefer glass. <laughs> I just get done saying, oh, I probably won't have any more glass. And then sure enough, the next thing is glass. Um. Uh, all right, we'll put them in here. Build glass. That's a lot of space for them. Um, yeah, they're definitely getting royalty treatment here. Add objects, get some water. Enrichment, the blue ball, and the sprinkler system. Uh, animals, move, both of them, boom, all right. <sighs> low water, who's now low on water? Add a water track, who's got it? Holy smokes. A lot of girls. All right, they're out of here. Enrichment track. Who's got the enrichment problem? Uh, I'm not seeing an icon. Nothing, nothing. Oh, there it is. And two males got to go. All right, back to there. Everything's all right in the world again. Cool, awesome. All right, yep, 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 yep. Micromanaging at its finest. <laughs> all right, do we got another dinosaur coming in? Nope. Looks like next episode we will. All right, next episode, we'll have a new dinosaur. Just nothing yet. Uh, six points. It's going to be closer to uh, four points. All right, so we got an Arctic enclosure, which I don't think we're going to get any Arctic animals. I think the other enclosure is here, so I might just go over to the fern plants once I get three. Um, I don't need to grab Arctic right now, but I do want to see the other one. I do believe it is right there. Yes, yeah, so we'll get the uh, large ferns uh, knocked out, and then we'll go to go. Uh, zoo goes off the grid. Thank you. Uh, kind of the same thing you get in the base game. Um, you could put up uh, to stop having to buy utilities. I believe there is a, is there a way to see expenses? I don't want the profit breakdown. I want to see, how do I see the, the expenses? Oh, look at this. We can get bribes. Um, I know there was a way to see expenses somewhere before. Ha, ah, where is it? Sorry, we're trying to wrap this up. Uh, manufacture 50 dinosaur eggs. I need to manufacture 50 dinosaur eggs. What's my reward for that? Huh. Huh. Don't know. All right. Where is, ah, guys, I do not remember where you can see your expenses, but I know one of your expenses is it like, like getting in electricity. And so you can get rid of that expense by putting up windmills and other things that generate electricity on, on in your zoo. Um, so obviously not going to dive into this episode, but that is available. I can't find out where it is. And I honestly, I don't know if it's going to be worth it. Uh, let's see that light. Whew. 
Well, good thing we're not open while we're while it's still dark out because we're terrible at light coverage. <laughs> With that said, guys, that's where I'm gonna end this one. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep these short to wrap these up. Oh, cool. Ploy got leveled up. Good job. If you guys are enjoying this so far, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't done so already, turn on that notification bell, and don't forget to leave a comment. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.